Captain Solo in the cargo hold. Welcome to Cooking with Toys Custom Collectible Edition. One of my favorite things to do in life to escape reality, to clear my mind, to wind down is customize. I love customizing action figures, Halloween props, cosplay props, cosplay costumes, display cases, custom action figure bases, whatever it is that lets my artistic side of me flow. I love doing, especially when it comes from the world of pop culture, comics, horror films, you know, other movies that impacted me in some way, TV shows, whatever it may be. I love being able to take a part of that world, customizing it and making it my own world. So I was browsing Facebook Marketplace to see if I could find anything to customize. This has been a while. And I came across a uh, Boba Fett lot for $15. And it came with the Jack Pacific 19-inch Boba Fett complete. And it came with Ruby's Boba Fett's EE3 Blaster, which we'll be customizing in this video. Now this is a uh, great blank canvas. It is a lot of potential of being a awesome cosplay piece, awesome cosplay weapon. It is the iconic Boba Fett weapon. If you're a Star Wars fan, you've seen this weapon, you know this weapon, it's instantly recognizable. It just needs some customizing love. When I got it, the first thing I noticed was it made some noise and that the buttstock wasn't fitting right. So I went ahead and unscrewed the buttstock just to see um, what was going on. And it was broke inside, so that's why it's not fitting. So I'm going to fix that, which shouldn't be a hard fix, and get the buttstock to fit like it should normally fit. So the seam are tight. And then I'm going to fix that noise. I think all I need to do is get some super glue in between the handle of the gun and the buttstock. And it's got a pretty nice gap right there. So if I get some super glue specifically made for plastics, including polyurethane, which is a really hard plastic to find glue to bond to. So I'm gonna get some of that in there to see if that tightens that up and gets rid of that noise. I think it should. On the buttstock itself, I would like to get rid of the manufacturer markings. So take some 220 sandpaper and just sand that down until it's gone. And then after I get that all sanded down and put back together, I'm gonna take some plumber's putty and fill in the holes and then just sand those down. Now you don't have to do this. I just like filling in the screw holes to make it look more complete as like one unit. So I'm gonna do that, get that sanded down, put back together. And then we're gonna give this blaster the paint job it deserves. I have uh, a few different colors I'm gonna be using of spray paint, some Model Masters Chrome that I'm gonna use to do some weathering and touching up on edges and stuff. And then I'm gonna use a new paint that I've never used, but I've been wanting to use it and I'm excited to, excited to use it. It's a two uh, process paint that emulates rust. So I'm going to figure this is the best project to use that on for the first time because I want this to look Boba Fett's screen used gun. And his gun is beat up. It's rusty. It's worn. And I want to emulate that as best as possible. So I'm going to take you along step by step. And who knows? If you like it enough, maybe you'll make your own. I have a feeling this is going to be a cool outcome. And it's going to look a thousand times better than this green and orange.
so I'm just repeating this process over and over and over, spraying some paint, wiping it off with a wet rag until I get the desired look I want. And this also shows you where you should be dry brushing. I'm gonna dry brush here, dry brush here. It kind of shows you where the natural wear is gonna be when you start sanding. But I'm gonna do this process for the whole gun and I will see you when we get to that point. Okay, now that I got the uh, paint job to where I want it and I like it and I'm comfortable with it, I'm going to add the clear coat to protect this layer and then I'm going to move on to some finishing work. And then anywhere where the green has popped out, I'm going to use that as a guideline to where to put some of the rust. So wherever any of the color popped out, I'm going to put the rust there because I have a feeling that's where it would be the most wear down and the metal would have rusted. But overall, I'm really happy with how this came out. It took a lot of spraying, wiping down, spraying, wiping down, spraying, wiping down. But it has come out pretty nice. And so for the finishing touches, I'm going to add the Silver Masters to all the edges. Look like it, make it look a little bit more worn down. And then I'm going to use that two-step uh, process rust paint to give the gun its rusty look. 